So is Notion good for SEO? Um, by the end of this video, I plan to help you get a better idea of whether you're making a mistake or whether you're doing the right thing and whether, whether it's possible to have good quote unquote SEO on Notion and help you get a better, help you get a better idea um, of what Notion can do in terms of SEO. And the short answer is meh, not really. Notion by default isn't good for SEO. It has potential though. So if, if you do a couple of things, you're limitless. Sky is the limit. Um, when it comes to why you should listen to me or who am I, uh, this is what I've done in my main business. We've gotten to, let's see, 7 million, oh, we've recently passed 7 million unique users to our website. Um, mainly due to SEO. I think if you go to our website, legitcheck.app, um, not particularly sure, but I think 70% of our traffic comes from SEO. Anyway, uh, that is my business card when it comes to this. So, oh, 87% hmm, comes to, comes from search. And if I can just show you this here, this is it. So, but we're talking about notion here. So what happens? What's the matter with Notion? Why did I say meh? So let's take Notion by default in the way it is, straight from its mother or father, like in its natural state, pure Notion. Um, you can share your, the link to the page, to your page, to the web. That is all fine. Here's problem number one. See this right here? This is called a slug or this in total is called a permalink. Now, recently, if you're an OG Notion um, user, nothing wrong if you're not, recently they've added this, right? The subdomain right here, and I've chosen mine to my name, but that is a bit of a step forward, but not really. Uh, that's cool. The problem is this, 2db, ah, leave me alone, Google. 2dba69df, blah, 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 all that blabber, that isn't helping you. And this is where you might want to have something clean like slash learn dash more or something like slash pricing or slash whatever slash blog stuff like that. Um, if you have the best do, question, do you imagine you have the best page in the world? Is it still going to be penalized by Google? Probably not. Penalize isn't the, the word we're looking for here. But the problem is if you're if you have competitors on the results page that have a permalink like that, something clean right here instead of 2db blah blah, they're probably going to have a bit of a boost. And after a certain point, no matter how many boosts you have, so to speak, to your page, let's say you have the most engagement, you have the most time spent on page, um, chances are you, you want everything there is out there to stack to your page, to make it defensible, at least in the long run. So this is problem number one, permalink. Now, problem number two is, and some people might say, oh yeah, Daniel, but look, there's this here search engine indexing and I can turn that on. Uh, by the way, this is only available on Notion's paid plan, which is something like $4 a month if it's paid yearly, if I'm not mistaken. So the cheapest paid plan, which is for individuals, not for teams. Um, I've got mine here. If you don't, um, you won't have this on. I think we have a lock. I'm not entirely sure. And that's what's happening. But if you have it, let's say you have it. Can I turn it on and then I'll easily be number one? Well, the answer is no, but the, the proper answer to that is probably going to be handled in a SEO guide video, which is also the scope of this. Um, the question about am I going to be number one? The question, the better question for this video is, do I have everything I need to, to be up there? And the answer is um, probably still not. Like in theory, yes, practically. Mm. So this is really the problem. See that there, that, that blue text in this image, which Notion has made to mimic the SERP. The SERP is search engine result page. So what you see in Google when you type in, how do I find the best headphones? So what's new? Uh, question mark dash notion. That is the title, which in my case would be this timeline AMAs. Uh, I run a Reddit community, Reddit SaaS, check it out if it interests you. And we have AMAs here. Um, this is what this page is all about. So 
what's new that's the title of the page and what is also called the meta title and then if you look there uh three days ago that has nothing to do better offline and search semicolon call me whatever it says that's the meta description that's the problem really you don't have any control over meta title meta description you don't have granular control meaning timeline amas is a good title to keep it short but maybe if i want to be indexing for when people search reddit sas uh, amas timeline when are they happening maybe i want to change that just in terms of meta title but not the title of the page so by default they're they're, they're the same um let me just read this out loud if allowed your public page may may appear in search engines such as google but only if you or someone else links to it elsewhere on the web I'm not fully sure what Notion want to say by that. If I had to guess, they're either hinting at the fact that you might need a backlink or ambiguously somebody else has to link to the page. To I think they're just trying to, it's a bit obscure, but technically speaking, yeah, you will probably get indexed. But, and if you don't know, long story short, backlinks uh, uh, mean that the more outside websites linked to the specific page or to your website the more validity it's got um i'm just gonna skip over that and uh, the last problem i want to mention with notion by default and then i'll finally get to the solution the last problem i want to touch upon is this the fact that notion websites don't load pretty fast by default relatively yes they're moving fast once they load you click and like that that's good problem is the first few seconds that it takes to load you might see a loading indicator which isn't the end of the world per se but ever since the summer of 2021 google made this update where you have to be within a few parameters to be able to have a pass from them um now the difference between a 70 out of 100 and 19 out of 100 is pretty much zero more or less in terms of if you get the pass if you don't get the pass everybody else on the page broadly speaking everybody else on the on the search engine results page on the serp everybody else who's passing that test is having a, a an advantage over you so mm. now what do we do in terms of solutions so in terms of oops in terms of solutions, uh, there's there's the free and comfortable way, let's call it. So it's comfortable in the sense that it all happens in Notion. There's the free option that requires one extra step. And then there's the paid option. So free and comfortable is um, stick to it like this with these limitations. Maybe your use case allows it. Maybe you don't need that. You're not going to have a lot of uh long-term value uh you're, you're not gonna have a proper setup for long term and that might be fine for you now the free and uh requires one extra step solution is going for what we're doing what my company is doing simple.enc and then you get something like this so when you build your website what we do is pretty much this you pop in your link to your notion page and we turn into a website so you might have multiple pages and if you do you probably have you will have granular control over each page so i can set a pretty url which is i'm gonna be uh there we go whoops pricing so uh, i'm gonna be having this specific page i mean i selected home page which is a bit wrong but let's say this one i'm gonna have this specific page at slash pricing and then the question is what happens to the domain oh two options on the free plan, you're going to get a subdomain with simple ink. So it's going to be u.simple.ink. Looks nice. Doesn't cost you anything. we got a generous free plan. Uh, you can stick to it forever. We don't mind. Or, and this is option number three now, a paid, on the paid plans, we allow people to add in a custom domain. So you will need a custom domain from a registrar. That's how they're called. Somebody like Google Domains. Namecheap, GoDaddy, you name it. Uh, let's say it's you.com. And then you can connect you.com and you're gonna have you.com slash pricing right here. If not, you.simple.inc or 
andrew.simple.inc or marie.simple.inc. You just have to check it, make sure it's, it's available, but it's free. Pick it up today before somebody else snatches it for you. Simple.inc, that's the website. And then on every page, you have this granular control. See, so this is what I'm talking about. On this specific page, I want this title. We're going to auto-suggest it for you and this description. So now I'm overcoming this limitation of I don't have any control over this better offline and search or whatever. Google is just going to pick up whatever is up there. Um, I don't have any control over the title. Maybe I want something because maybe I want it auto-generated. Going to keep it simple. But this is pretty much solving problems one, two, and three. The permalink or slug. And then these two. And what about speed? Well, we take care of everything technical for you. So um, uh, page speed is one of the things we're taking care of. All our websites do get a green score. And um, you're pretty much set with that. So there's nothing stopping you. Sky is the limit. You're pretty much set up for perfect SEO. Then it's just about much like with any other website, nobody, no matter what anybody is telling you, nobody can guarantee to you that you're going to have uh, number one results. You're going to have to study it a bit, at least not too much. It's not that big of a black box as people make it. Um, people who do that just get uh, paid a shitload in affiliate commissions for SEO tools, but whatever, I'm digressing here. Uh, you're pretty much set. So to recap, option one, keep it simple, but limited, but it might be just enough um, free and within notion. Do it like this. Be aware of the limitations. Try to write a, try to match your page title to the meta title you might want. Try to write the first few lines as paragraphs for the meta description. Try. I mean, look, look over here. I don't have it. I can't do anything because I'm on calendar view. And yeah, maybe get the paid plan. But the thing is, this is going to cost four or five dollars a month. You better take that money and put it into, not necessarily us. I mean, come to us, but uh, even with, uh, you name it, Squarespace or whatever, another website builder. Take it there. Come to us. Ask us any question. If if you're on the fence, we'll help you make a decision. And option three, uh, oh, sorry, option two, build it with us. It's going to take one extra step. But, um, and here's how Simple Ink works um, on any page. We're going to have this bar here, but it's here as well. Just paste your, I mean, this this was meant to be empty, but um, paste your um, Notion URL. So by default, this will be turned off. So let's start from beginning. Click share, share to web, turn this on. Click copy right here. And that's it. You paste this here and in less than a minute, um, you will be having your website. Then you select, you do you want a subdomain? Do I have a custom domain? But it takes less than a minute and it builds really fast. So we're trying to make that uh, as fast as possible. And that's option two. And option three is get on one of our paid plans. I highly encourage you to check us out, simple.inc slash pricing. If you have a custom domain, if you need it, if not, stick to our free plan for But that's pretty much it when it comes to the question, is Notion good for SEO? Long term, not really. Enough to get off the ground if you don't have any budget and for whatever reason you don't want to use our free plan. Better than nothing, better than it used to be. I'll tell you that. I'll give you that. Um, is it perfect? Not really. Is it set up for long term? Not in its current form. Can you still make something out of it? Yes, with a Notion website builder such as ours. Because then every change you make to your Notion page will automatically um, be updated on your website. So I hope this answers your question. Let me know if not, let me know what other questions you have about either Notion generally or our Notion website builder. Drop a comment below, click subscribe, like, share with a friend or don't, just keep it to yourself. Up to you really. Cheers.